Kate looked stunning in a powder blue coat dress by Catherine Walker with lace trim, which she teamed with a cream fascinator embroidered with white corsages. She was wearing blush suede court shoes with high heels that nearly led to the incident with the great. Princess Catherine opted for a powder blue Catherine Walker coat dress and Jane Taylor hat as she joined the royal family in celebrating the Queen's 90th birthday at St. Paul's that day. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie were present for the event, which was presided over by Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby in front of a star-studded audience. Senior members of the royal family and the extended family gathered for the celebrations that day to express gratitude for the Queen's long life. The complete royal family and hundreds of politicians, statesmen, and famous guests attended a special thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral in central London that morning, but the young royals stole the show. At that day's thanksgiving ceremony for the Queen, Prince Harry amused the Duchess of Cambridge. In fact, he didn't even look their way to see what was so funny. Kate and her brother-in-law were spotted laughing together, as they made their way down the aisle of the church to take their seats at the front, which indicated by their body language that they were very good friends. When that happened, they were giggling over Kate almost getting her heel caught in a grate. When he joined his brother and sister-in-law at the Queen's ceremony of thanksgiving, Prince Harry undoubtedly appeared to be in excellent form. The event marked the beginning of a three-day celebration of the Queen's birthday in the capital and was attended by former prime leaders John Major and Tony Blair, as well as television stars Claire Balding and David Attenborough. A number of politicians, including David Cameron, George Osborne, and Jeremy Corbyn, as well as Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, Prince Edward's children Louise and James, Princess Anne and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, and the Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, were also there. The Archbishop of Canterbury invited the congregation to reflect on the Queen's rule, with deep amazement and great thankfulness, as he lauded the manner she has ruled through war and suffering through instability and change during the course of her 90 years.